Hey everyone, I'm Keychain. This is week five for the Challenge Rift leaderboard for the Wizards on the US West Sand Scorpion server. Now, looking at the leaderboards, you can see that number one is Onlay at 113, so I definitely won't be catching him. Um, Case just put up an 82 this week, and he did it with 3 minutes and 37 seconds, so I'm guessing he could probably push like an 85 or an 86 if he felt so inclined. Um, this guy in the route is our target this week. He shot up out of nowhere, has like 2300 resonance, and he's at a 76. So that's, I'm going to try and get to a 76 if I can. Um, but yeah, and then Luminar is in here hanging out with us. And he's at 75. He's also going to push and try and fight... Uh, pass the route and then we'll see kind of how this goes all right so we're going to start 70 and lumi you can talk and hang out and we can do our normal thing now awesome all right i'm ready dude <laughs> I'm are you gonna push a, are you gonna start today you're gonna do an 80 I'm oh but you're a higher cr so maybe you can do it you should try and beat Castus. make him have I've, to do another rift i think Castus is like 2800 CR. You can do it. I believe in you. I got spiders, but I'm um, not looking good so far. There's spitters, and I need some time to recoup. So you do disintegrate black hole and arcane wind? Uh, no, Meteor. Meteor, Arcane Wind, and Black Hole. And uh, an Ice Armor. Actually, I'm going to leave those blues up at the entrance and cheat the system. Alright, so... I mean, so far so good. Spiders are not an easy one, but they're also not the hardest. I just got to be really... Like, I really have to pay attention to where this... Oh, I got a Frenzy Shrine. I'm gonna melt this rift now. Keychain. I love Frenzy Shrines. Oh yes, but I need now some packs to kill and I need to not be overconfident with my shrine. These poison spitting spiders are the problem. I'm still like this, so this dungeon I'm in, I'm in the um, the dungeon tile set and it's like the dead end with the stairs and the tight corners and all that. It's like I need yeah. some room to work. My shrine is going to run out before I even really get to use it. Oh man. Like I'm doing a little bit, but I haven't had any big packs or anything to like really kill with it. Oh my gosh. Okay, here's something finally. The shrine gone, the shrine's gone. That's sad. Oh well. Okay, now it's time to suicide. And uh, for all the viewers, suiciding, well, leaving some monsters at the start of the rift allows you to spawn back at the checkpoint without having to run a long ways or wait six to eight seconds or even if you're dying a lot getting up to like 10 or 15 seconds before you can actually like attack i got this flayed as the boss so that's not horrible but i'm also not in a good spot for kiting This rift should be, if I can get some room to kite, should be done. So I think the one thing that's happening here is my decision to go back to the entrance for the boss is actually backfiring. Which boss did you get again? The flayed poison guy that drops poison everywhere and spits and you have to keep kiting and running 
So you have spitters for spiders, and you have a spitter boss? Yes. Oh, what a terrible rift. And it's, I was, my initial kiting is, is kiting where I'm attacking towards the bottom of the screen, and that stupid, um, error message is in my way. Oh, no. <laughs> so, it keeps popping up. Yeah, like, I'm trying to avoid clicking it, but it's, oh, I'm so done for right here. Maybe not. I'm just, like, gonna run right next to the boss and do what I can. Like, I'm about to kill him. It's not, uh... It's not the end of the world because this is the first easy rift. So like on this rift, I'm only at 125, 124% more damage taken and dealing 55% less damage. So not a huge deal. Not a huge deal, huh? It's funny that I'm so used to rifts being 250 to 350 more than me. Yeah. Okay, so that was a 70. I think it might have an upgrade, so I'm going to go do that real quick, and then we'll keep pushing. Congratulations, Keychain. Yeah, I wish that rings and stuff had additional stats that you could get when you upgraded them. Like, I thought it was a thing for them, or if it is, it's not at 6. Because I leveled one piece to five to see if it would say next level you get this, and it didn't. So, oh, it's... for like reforged stones and things. Yeah, and so it looks like that whole left side doesn't get that. Maybe they'll add that in later as a like power boost, and like maybe they'll have a second family that's specific to set items, and it, you know maybe they'll do something crazy like that. Because that's what I would do if I was a game designer. I'd be like, hey, you've got these, you know, six trees or five trees for the main gear. And then you've got these special, like, you know, different stats for the set items. Yeah. When they, when they get to, you know, 6, 11, 16, whatever. And a, spe and a different stone that costs more money or is earned in a different way. Because you got to monetize it, right? That's right. So I got the Bloodsworn, which should be a pretty good rift for me. Oh yeah, absolutely. Because they, they do have archers, but they just die fast, and that's what I like. When they only have 24,000 hit points, not bad. It's again in the dungeon layout, which I seem to get more than any other layout. Doing bad. Empowered Shrine. Maybe I should have saved that for the boss. Oh well. I always forget to like save things for the boss too. So I'm like, maybe I should have as I'm clicking it. Everybody watching, you know how I feel about dead ends. <laughs> oh man. Dead ends should not exist in rifts. Like, there should be loops, and, but never dead ends. It just seems. It's, it's like an unfair disadvantage on top of all the randomness they already have to end up in a dead end and waste time is super frustrating. It's artificial difficulty that doesn't add anything. Yeah. Okay, we're coming up on the boss. Unless I die, I'm gonna die. Yep. That's right. Let's see what we get. Anything but Sand Shaper. I shouldn't have said it before it spawned. <laughs> Did he spawn? I don't know. I'm going down the stairs to find out. Nope, I got the uh, 
the orange lady, Bakaja. Oh, the matron woman. She's yeah. the best. I love her because her pattern is so um, predictable. Yeah. Unless unless I don't pay attention to the pattern. So if everybody watching her pattern is she attacks forward at you first, then she attacks the side directions, then she summons at. So it's a very predictable pattern. The problem is just getting out of the initial attack is sometimes she attacks a little farther than you expect. And then you can go right back into um, into the first attack zone. Now the other problem is is that her cycle for the ads is so fast that if you're not catching the ads in like some AOE or black hole, if you're a single target class, you could easily get overwhelmed with ads or have to kite her to deal with the ads. Because you can see that the cycle for her to resummon those ads was faster than my cooldown of 14 seconds. So it's like 8 seconds for an ad cycle, which is pretty quick. Like my cooldowns are not even done yet. And I almost got hit by that AOE. So we got about halfway done. More ads. Avoid the AOE. I probably should have saved that. So I'm just going to basic attack until she summons the next set of adds and dump everything to try and kill them while they're on top of her. So I'm going to do that again and this next set has black hole and a full combo so it should finish it off. So here we go, and this is the end of the boss. Okay, so that's 71 in 4 minutes and 52 seconds, so that's pretty good for us being able to do a 72. I normally start to worry once I get into like the 8 minute range, that's when I start to uh, worry that I'm going to need some help in the next, you know, need some luck. So starting at 72. Did you uh, did you start a, a rift, Lumi? I have not. But my my group just ended, so I am going to. Let's see. That pushed to 80. So I got the demons. I don't know what, what. I don't remember their specific demon type, but it's the the ones from Realm of Damnation. The spiky ones. Oh yeah 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 yeah. Those are those seem like a pretty decent set too. I just have to be careful for their fire spitters. As long as I'm cognizant of that, should be pretty decent. Oh man, but my combo did not kill that set, so that means this is going to be much harder. I need to look at the difficulty, but I'm definitely doing significantly less damage than I was in the last rift already. Okay, so we're well ahead of the timer. I'm going to look at the difficulty. So this one is... 2480 and I'm doing 170 taking 172 percent more damage and dealing 63 percent less damage so that's our benchmark for this one And I got an amazing shrine again. This one's going to be amazing. I'm going to save that for the boss this time since I have a nice circle to get all of the kills I need for the boss.
And I love when they have those little slow fire slugs as part of your kills, because oh, those are amazing. Just free. Absolutely. I'm, I'm free. like one single kill away from the boss. I'm gonna I'm gonna take that shrine and it should last. Okay, so this should be the fastest I kill any boss. And a second shrine? Oh my. This is gonna be great. Oh, it's Alchemic Shrine, and it does absolutely nothing against this boss. Oh, but the adds it will. That's funny, it's like, I'm, even with a crit shrine, I'm still not doing that much damage because of how little, little damage I'm doing to the boss right now. Almost there, and four, three minutes and forty-four seconds. Nice job. That's a pretty good clear. All right, I'm gonna try to do a seventy-seven. A seventy-seven. All right, get in there. All right. We'll see. You got this. Oh, dusty. Are you gladiator spec yet? I am full glad spec. Oof, that's gonna make it harder. Yeah. You're definitely missing yeah. out on some damage there. I was doing these before respecing to glad. Yeah, I had to respec last week and I can't. Uh... Ooh, I got undead spitters. I don't know about this one. It's not going horribly. Although, I don't know if when you kill them and they turn into torsos and they reset, if that counts as a second kill, or if it's like just part of the first kill and that makes them much more annoying. Yeah, I don't know. Oh my gosh, the damage is real. Oh, I died. Yeah, this poison spitters, I have to be so careful. It's I think it's one of the fastest ranged attacks beyond skeletal archers in the game. Like it just comes out so fast that even when you're running, it's hitting you. Or right. almost hitting you. See my first blue pack. I'm ahead of the timer still, so I'm not doing terrible. But I'm gonna die again. Maybe not. Oh, run. Don't invite me to raids. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to block some people. Ahead of this time or two. Did I enter the same rift? It says twenty four eighty again. Oh, or was the really? last one? I sure hope not. No, it's a seventy three. Is a seventy three the same as a seventy two? Maybe. I didn't think that they designed them that way, unless I'm wrong, but I'm again. No, this time I'm doing 66% lab. It, it just didn't update, because now I click it and it says 2510. So it was oh. just behind. Okay. Yeah, that's a tough one. That makes sense. I do like that zombies are so slow. They're more of the walking dead zombies instead of like, um, uh, what's the, the Z Nation or whatever the other ones are where they're fast. Right. 
Uh, I don't know. Zombies scare me, so. <laughs> I got the summoner. I'll take it. I think the tiny little room I'm in is not ideal for fighting a summoner. I think I hear cardboard, so I'm wondering if family just got home, and then I'm gonna have to try and take a break and piece two videos together, which is more work, but doable. Yep, they're home. Oh no! Well that's good, I mean, you have a great family. Yeah, so then I can do more of these later. But, as soon as I finish this rift, I'll cut this video, take a break, come back, and piece the harder bit of it on. Or maybe I'll just decide that I... Oh, I died. Maybe I'll just decide that I want to do only the harder rifts, so that it's not an hour long video. Oh, but I le leashed the boss. That's annoying when... Seventy-seven complete. Dang. It's impressive. And 435. Wow. So you will be able to push 80. You try. You got this. Easy. I'll skip 78 and go straight to 79. Oh, you beat it that fast that it lets you skip a rift? Yeah. Now that is... Definitely baller status. <laughs> it's definitely not easy now. Almost there. Okay, this one's done. Break time. Five minutes and forty seconds. Nice job, dude. And I'll go get dinner. Um, but I'm nervous. I'm nervous, Key. You got this. The last one you did in six minutes. That's plenty yeah, of time I to spare. If not, you you fail once and you blame it on the gladiator spec. True. I could blame it on the good, 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 good gladiator. Okay, so I reset and now I've got undead, but I need a spot to stop. I hate when you're like kiting and there's no space to actually like take a pause and do damage. You're like, okay, what do I do? Oh, attacking through the wall again. These guys and their tricks. This seems like a pretty good solid rift for me at the moment. Okay, so... As long as I don't die doing dumb stuff, like... Standing still while talking. That's not a good thing to do. Walk and chew bubblegum at the same time. I got this. How's your rift going? Or are you a, a silent concentrator? If that's the case, then I'll just talk. And... <laughs> we're trying. Dude, there's some mages in here which make it a little bit challenging, but we're, we're pushing on. Luckily, I can teleport and spawn a guy so they can anchor that. So God, I wish... Like... Those echoing shades, I've wanted one ever since I saw both you and Kastis. Um It was you, I think, right? That has one that I they, they tank. It, oh, so I no, don't... it was Alana and Kastis were using it. And I was like, I didn't realize that the, those things tank for you. Yeah, I use the teleport um, uh, helm. So it creates a, a dude while I'm. Ah, okay, okay. After I teleport. And if you position it just right, it'll. Uh... A tank for you. Had a lot of blues in this rift, so it's actually been really nice. 
And 80 is gonna get you that boost of CR too. Just spawned the boss. Nice. In like three minutes. <laughs> that's awesome. Boss. It's Sand Shaper. Which is oh sand no, boss. that's the worst one. I think I'm gonna suicide back to the entrance for this one. His sand just hit me for 37,000. Oh, jeez. I got ball, so not the most amazing one, but not bad. I wish his fire would be straight lines and not staggered. Yeah. Jeez, I didn't realize that. I this is one boss that I do not fight often at all. Like, I don't even really know his move set. Like he's got a ranged attack, which makes it difficult. Just proc my cheat death. But it's a weird. Are you proc your cheat death? He did. Yeah. That's all right. I haven't died yet. I had him as the boss in the '79. I did so. So it's doable. You got lots of time. You just gotta get there. Yeah. I think I'm gonna hide my timer. It's in the way of my kiting. No oh, questions. the boss is stuck on his own appendages. That was a good little 10 second burst. I'm gonna die. I'm dead. How, what's your you, respawn timer? Zero. Okay. PM. I actually forced it to be longer because. Um, he uh, was channeling his ability. Oh my gosh. What is happening here? I am so unfamiliar with this boss. Like, he did this weird, crazy teleport thing. Yeah. I hate Bale, actually, as a whiz. Yeah, oh, yours, your build is even worse for it because you have to stand still. I don't even have to stand still, and he's difficult. I'm just gonna run from this. We'll wait. We'll wait it up. He keeps channeling. Oh, that happened to me once where he got stuck just basically doing his his AoE. Like it yes. was like nonstop. And it basically was like how how do I do any damage when this isn't stopping? Yeah, I can't and I keep as I've died so many times now that I'm it's like not good. Like if he's channeling it again. I'm just gonna. There, I killed him. You killed him? <sighs> yeah, I killed him. All right. 80's big rewards. When do we get our next loot up? Probably 150. One, no, probably like 100 to 120 would be my guess. Cause it's definitely not 80. I can tell you that because I didn't get it. And it does not appear to be 90. No, it's not 90 or 80. You know, I just realized I've been doing these one by one. But I can pick. I've got it opened all the way up to 82 from doing um, to the groups. Oh no! I didn't realize that. So I just did a 74. I was only pushing for a 75, but I'm thinking I just I want to try something just nutty. I'm gonna go for a 77. Good Let's luck, just. Good luck. I'm just gonna do it. Let's go I for it and I see what I happens. Take that guy. Ooh, this is gonna be. Item? Oh, ooh. Upgrade. What'd you get? An upgrade ooh. weapon. I got blood sworn. Oh my gosh. They are doing so much damage. It's the it's the red exclamation where it's like, how much is it? 
I think I bit off more than I can chew. <laughs> Maybe 77 was a little ambitious. Oh man. I don't know. Everything is like partially dead. It's not outside of the realm of possibilities that I can actually do this. It's just a lot of damage for this specific. Like, it's Bloodsworn, they die fast, but it, those archers just hit so hard. Okay, so this one is 300% more damage and doing 75% less damage. That's pretty it's, big in Japan. It's only 300% damage. Like, I've done this. A little RNG on my side. Dodging some archers. I need, I need room to work is the problem. That's my biggest thing is going to be room. And these archers are making my life miserable. I hate when I can see them winding up and I know it's going to kill me and there's nothing I can do. Stupid archers. Get a job. Okay, like I barely have the timer. It's not, it's not unreasonable. Go, go, go. I just need to be smarter with my black holes and trying to catch the ranged attackers. If I can do that, I have a chance at, at success here. Because the melee ones, super easy to deal with. There's not a whole lot of blue packs in here though so far, which is, I've been doing this mostly on trash mobs and that's not normally a good thing. the elites this is like the weirdest rift I hate those rifts there's just like none and this is probably another death unless I can really make oh my gosh run just keep running don't stop I just had to overkite by so much though, like <laughs> that was kind of pointless for how far I went and then I had to run back where I'm sure most of them are leashing. Yeah. Oh, I died anyways. This one's super hard. I know that a lot of that stuff is half dead, but I also know there's no blues up there, so it's like, what's the right move there when everything is half dead? I gotta go back and just not grab as much. I did too much work to leave it. Oh yeah, all of them are so dead. I finally found a blue pack. It's just a little bit too little too late, I think. Yeah. Oh, 
I've got stuff leashing again. This was not a good rift for me. I think with the amount of time I have left, I'm still going to try, but it's going to be one of those, like, if it's Sand Shaper, it's just an immediate loss. Like, there's just not, there's not going to be enough time for me to kill a Sand Shaper with the amount of deaths I have already. Like, I'm at, like, a 10 second timer. And I'm going to die again, because I'm over kiting, and I don't have any room. Yeah, I'm at 17 seconds. Dang yeah. it. I know I can do a 77. I'm just going to have to be smarter about it and not. And a better layout. Yeah, I should have left. I should have left monsters alive at the at the start so that I could summon the boss to the the entrance. And by not doing that, I've just got nothing. I killed everything. Maybe there's this little corner right here. Is it going to be enough? If I kite this one monster to the entrance, <laughs> will that work? Nope, it wasn't enough to summon the boss. Okay, well, I, I really need like a timer or a better percentage on this bar. This is just random bar, not fun to guess. I've got two, I'm guessing I've got two minutes or so left, and I don't think I can kill a boss in that time. It's Ignatius, which is a good one for me. Ignatius is pretty good, but two minutes is pretty rough. Okay, you ready to do some math? I'm ready. Okay, so actually we're going to need like a stopwatch or something. I don't know how we would even, oh no, I'm dead. I'm just, I'm just out of time. Okay, I give up. I'm gonna go again. Oh, I was gonna try and figure out how much DPS I'm doing, but then I died and there's a 21 second timer. So there's just, it's just a no. Okay, 77, going again. Let's see what layout I get. So you're gonna try an 81? Mm. Oh. You can do it. Uh, mm. I've got ooh succubus and <laughs> succubus and uh, the snakes. I don't think this I one's back out this one's a definite no. Yeah, because the succubus is hurt. The succubus. The thing that's dumb about them is their hitbox is is wrong. Like. Blizzard screwed up their hitbox because there have been times where I completely dodge that projectile and I get hit. And I'm like, there's absolutely no way that I got hit by that. Video proof. Yeah. So their hitbox is wrong or the or there's a delay on where the damage is coming from. Like the ball goes by and then the stuff happens or the stuff happens and then the ball goes by. But something is wrong with Succubus. It's not the way it should be. Okay, I've got Undead. Mages. Undead mages are tough. They hit hard, but might be doable. I've got Fallen. Ooh, Fallen is another tricky one with those fire starters. Yeah, I'll give it one try before I go eat dinner. Because I got two blue packs to start the rift, so. Ooh, that's always good. I'm willing to try it. Oh no. And a yellow pack? I don't know that I can do that. The yellow pack makes it a little less fun. Oh gosh, get out of there. I've got a waller. So a waller in this dungeon layout is so tricky because when they put that wall up, your only option is to turn back through them. Yep. Okay, so I've got a decent spot near the entrance to suicide the boss, too. It's one of those, like, down dungeon staircase areas. Oh, nice, nice. So, if 
I can get far enough in the rift, I can come back to that. It's not right on top of the entrance, but it's close enough for me. What the heck just hit me? Oh, I hate dying and not knowing how I died. That's frustrating. Sorry, it doesn't have to be pretty, it just has to be a win. Yeah, these fire starters have got me spooked. Gosh, I would love some energy globes right now. That would be like the best thing ever. Like, can we make that happen, please? Blizzard, hear my call. Oh, gosh. Talk too much, die too much. It's a blue pack of mages, and that was tough. Because when two of them fire off, it's really hard to dodge. A dead end. We all know how I feel about dead ends. <laughs> so you do. But actually, this dead end worked out because it took me in a nice. It was a small dead end, and there was a lot of monsters in it. Okay. Sometimes lucky. Oh my gosh, what? Those giant Justicar dudes, they hit faster than archers. You can't dodge those. The keepers. Uh, yep. Yeah. They do a ton of damage. I literally right. couldn't dodge that. I don't know how. Oh That's gosh. It. I think that this summoner? good rift. What is my luck? Oh, you got summoner. What'd you get? Summoner? Summoner. But that's not, um. It's not Sand Shaper. Yeah. I like Summoner. Yeah. You don't like Summoner? No. Oh, because you have to stand still. Yeah. And those guys, they just get, like, the whirlwind guys get on me. Oh, gosh. Get out of here. It's stupid. I'm so close to summoning. Oh, I should probably suicide. I should have done that. Oh, dang it. Okay, suicide. I think I've got like four minutes, it looks like. Five, four or five minutes. I'm close. This is doable. Okay. Oh, no. Tell me I saved enough monsters down here. That would be my nightmare is this little group that I saved is not enough. Okay, it's just barely, just barely enough. Crusader yes. King. Skeleton King, you're my buddy. Just keep coming this way. Don't summon any ads. It's okay, you don't need them. <laughs> I wish I could know how I trigger the ads, like what causes it. 
because right now he's not summoning them. Man, I love it when they summon the ads. You like when he summons the ads? Yes, because I have a Swenson's Haunting. So oh. I do extra damage when the ads die. Okay. I mean, that's I a good it. reason. I did it. You did it? Nice. Grats. <gasps> what do I get the bad bosses? What was the time? If it, if it's under eight minutes, you gotta do another one. <laughs> Those are the rules. So, sorry, I don't make the rules. Six thirteen. Oh my gosh. It didn't count it. Oh, is it doing bugged. that again? Uh, It'll catch up. It'll catch up. Really? It'll catch up. It's it's been doing that, but it catches up. I haven't looked at. Oh, I did not think I was in range of that, but okay. Mine is gonna be over eight minutes for sure, if I can even beat it. We're we're that close. We're in the. I don't know if this is happening range. Why with the ads? Skeleton King. You don't need them, dude. You're strong enough on your own. Alright, I will postpone dinner one more time for an 82. You got this. Uh, no one. Okay, looks like we're going the other way now. I just hate kiting the archers, and I wish that they would stop and just die. Zombies okay. and the spitter zombies. Spitter zombies, that's a tough one. Yeah. Has has dinner you you have to get your own dinner, like nobody's there for you to cook right now, right. so Okay, I did it. Eight minutes and fifty-one seconds. Not bad, dude. About seventy-seven. I'll take it. Hey. Oh, that means I'm gonna get mailed a crap load of resources. Yes. Look at all that stuff. So they gave me a bunch of yellows. Don't need a whole bunch of scrap. Don't need, but they gave me sixty-five, seventy, eighty of the enig enigmatic crystals. So I have another That's upgrade. An upgrade. Yes. My eighty-one was six fifty-five. So you, so as long as you get a decent clear boss, like at least what I've noticed is when you're at a when you're at that break point, if you beat a rift in under eight minutes, the next one is typically doable unless you get bad luck. But over eight minutes, that's when it's like you need something in your favor, like a rift or or not a rift, um. A shrine or like right. really good blue packs or like a boss that you can like tear through you, you need something to go your way i'm it's still gonna try 70. It i'll started go ahead with the blue pack but uh they're spiders oh spiders are tough Test yeah. spiders are tough for you too because you have to stand still yep but you freeze That's them right uh, I do not. I slow them. So uh -huh. if I get lucky, I can. I I don't use the um, the dis the frost the ray of frost that like insta freezes. Um, oh. Yep, I'm dead. This is not my rift. Um, only because my build relies on channeling, and so you like if I run out of my disintegrate channel, I have nothing else. Got it. Auto so I, I see your 81 on there at 655. Yeah, it finally popped up. And I'm gonna I'm hoping Narut Narut's probably gonna see this and do more. Like not see the video, but see that we blew him out of the leaderboards. And that's uh I mean, actually what is his CR? Even though he's got a ton of resonance, his CR is only twenty four twenty. Yeah, he's so. a he's a hundred CR less than I am. And this this rift is also terrible. God, I can't imagine like 
what would my damage look like with 6,000 attack? Like, that just... Man, 50% more damage? Yeah, that would be... I do right now, my attack is 4476. Like, if you were to add 2,000, I would just... I feel like I would melt things. Oh, I get two upgrades. Gratsky. I mean, they're willpower and fortitude not doing a whole lot for me there, but... Let's see, I'm now sitting at 2287 CR. Oh, okay. Well, let's try 78. Let's see if that's a dead break point. Cause I think that, I think that puts me 400 over or, or 390. I'll double check what, what the CR difference is, but it's pretty significant. I'm gonna go grab me some dinner, my dude. I'll catch you tonight. Yeah, sounds good. All right, good luck on your rift. Thanks. See ya. See ya. Follow, subscribe, subscribe to Key, <laughs> he's the best. <laughs> okay. So we're in the cave tile set with Lacuni. I don't remember if I like Lacuni. I want to say I don't like Lacuni. If I have to say on a first glance if I like Lacuni or not, I think my instinct says no. So this is not quite 400. So it's 360, 373. So this is doable if if I can find a good set. So the problem here is going to be getting enough room to kite and trying to catch the ranged monsters in black holes. So that's going to be my my strategy for this one is not getting caught in bad positions and being patient. So being greedy is where mistakes happen. I don't know what those I've never seen that stalker do that jumping leap thing before, but that's going to be difficult to dodge. Oh, there's a yellow pack here, which I don't really want to fight the yellow. I think I'm going to leave him alone because honestly, I'll drag him. But yellows are like mini bosses. They just take so long to kill. If you can kill them while you're killing trash, great. But if you have to focus on just the boss, it's going to take me like two minutes to do 215,000 damage to that yellow. And I've got to keep kiting here. I've got to swing around in the circle and oh, run. Mistake. So that mistake did not bite me, but it could have, it easily could have. So here's where things are gonna get hairy. Is I've gotta catch all of this in a black hole and do damage. And the yellow is now back in the mix, which is not, it's either a good thing or a bad thing. Like it's good if I can keep everything kiting, but it looks like it's just eating a bunch of my damage that I want to go to other things. Okay, so the blue's gone. I need to cancel this. I need to go back the other direction. I got a, the yellow can come if he wants. And now the yellow is kind of at that break point where I do want to kill it. But this is one of those, like, what do you do? What's the right move here? It's hard to tell. Let's see if I can kite back this direction and get the yellow back in. So I've got the yellow and the blue here. Is is that the full blue though, or did it? Okay, this is gonna work out. That energy globe is gonna make this work out. Energy globes are like the best thing that can ever happen. I love them so much. Quickening globe, not bad. I need this blue with some trash. I can't do him on his own. Did I catch the range? They didn't catch all the range, so that's bad. That's very bad. I need the range to walk through the combo. They don't have much hit points, which is good, but they are like 
annoying support that stops me from ever stopping to do damage. You know, it's um, it's kind of maddening to just be constantly bombarded by ranged monsters. I need to pull my timer up to see what we're working with. We are well ahead of the timer right now, so this is going great. A dead end. You know how we feel about dead ends here. But it's an empowered shrine, and that is actually good. So having an empowered shrine there, if I can leave that for the boss, that's going to give me a lot of extra DPS that I could use. So killing this blue pack is going to give me a ton. And then I'll know that I can come back to this dead end corner in like a minute and a half to get that shrine. Oh, I just got caught in a net, which I'm glad that black hole wasn't burned, but my other things were. So this is where I need to carefully, very carefully, wait for my cooldowns. Don't panic. We're doing all right. The spear thrower guys, I, I'm glad that there weren't many of those in the beginning half of the rift, because those usually make me back out, because those spear throwers throw so fast. It's... Soup, and those are the ones that have the um, the net that you're seeing that kind of, you know, got me that death. And now I'm talking too much. I need to res so that these don't leash. And they leashed anyways. I'm like right on the edge of being able to summon the boss and go get that shrine. Okay. So I'm going to get the shrine. And then we're going to come back and see what boss it is. Empowered Shrine is not the best one for me, but it's also not bad. It reduces my cooldowns, but it's not like it was in like Diablo 3 where your cooldowns are just absolutely insane. It's like, it's, it's decent, you know. See how I'm getting all this extra DPS in. So the fast attacks make it so that my uh, my basic is going off a lot. I wish that my basic had some sort of like abilities to, um, if my basic attack would like reduce my other cooldowns or something neat like that, then that shrine would be amazing for me. Right now in its current form, it's just okay. But having this shrine up for the majority of this fight is going to be a big deal. Okay, shrine's gone, so now I'm back to normal, but the boss is half dead. We've got plenty of time to finish, as long as we don't panic. Just don't panic. Stay cool, stay calm, dodge stuff and things. Okay, we're doing all right. We've got room to kite. Our death timer isn't ridiculous. Oh, dodge that. Gosh, that's a bad spot for me to be in. And that's flame ground, so that's not good. This is a dead end. You know how we feel about dead ends. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna get a shirt made. You know how we feel about dead ends. Um, I'm just gonna bring the boss completely away from that lava ground because it's deadly to me look at this the time is getting slowly progressively away from me like without that empowered shrine I just would have had no chance here okay and I need to get those ranged guys like killed but I also don't want to waste my time on them and we've got our ultimate up again in this fight which is great and this one's coming right down to the wire got it eight minutes and 46 seconds and that was with a shrine so I doubt we're going any higher than this. 
I think that's our limit for this week. Um, I might get some extra upgrades, like today. I don't know. Like, it's doubtful that I'll get more upgrades today from the vault. I know I've got some upgrades coming because I'm doing. Um, I'm gonna be high enough rank to pick probably my first or my second choice in the vault. Um, for those of you who aren't familiar with the vault, I can show you real quick. So as the immortals, the reason that being immortals is actually good is because of the vault. And defending the vault is important because items go into the vault at the beginning of the week when we do rifts. And I can sort this by my class. And you can see all of these items in here, right? But some of them are really good. Like this one's a triple double. And you basically you place a bid on these items. And if you are number one and you pick your number one pick, you get that item. So then there's some conversations that should be happening like, hey, this is my number one choice. And if you're ahead of that person, then they should know not to waste their number one choice on that. So like things like this, I can see that shoulders are one of my biggest upgrades. So I can go look through shoulders and find one that I really want and pick that. And the items, see the Paragon requirement is 90. Um, but I'm at Paragon 83. So those items go out Monday morning. And by the time that happens, I'll be like 85. And then Monday morning is a brand new week of Battle Pass. So by like Wednesday morning, I'll be Paragon 90, um, maybe Wednesday afternoon. And then I'll be able to put those on. So it's basically getting to choose items for your build and find the things that you actually want. Um, so defending the vault is important, and that's part of you know the immortals and and the vault that you don't see from the shadow side. So okay, I think that's it for this video. Um, I honestly don't think I want to stress myself out in a 79. This is going to keep me in the top 10 for this week, and the rewards are the same for top 10. Um, number one or number 10, it's all the same. So. You know, I'm I'm okay with being in the top five. I might get bumped down to five if this guy decides to push because he's got much higher um, resonance and higher combat rating. So, all right. Uh, thanks for watching. Remember to hit the like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.